and we are live i think uh so a quick uh actually the last last fuck up probably uh we mis uh misjudged the when uh, everything was closing down so we're sadly uh, have to uh, fast forward uh, the closing note a little bit uh, i hope this sounds fine uh so Thank you everybody for watching the Arch Linux Conference 2020. Uh, this is a closing remark, a little bit how things were planned and how everything went was done. Um, so the conference organization was loosely based around the Arch Linux, Arch Linux Conf channel at Freenode. Uh, we were using, uh, for the planning and the note stuff, we sort of used etherpads for everything. It allows... Uh, a uh, fairly decentralized way of working with people um, and it sort of allows everybody to do quick notes as we go along. A lot of the meetings was done then done over Jitsi or Mumble a little bit after how we uh, sort of managed to do them or how we planned it. Um, so the follow-up to the CFP was was a little bit interesting. I wrote initial mail for this conference that, around 22nd of July. I then at the same time realized uh, Anthrax and Alan had sort of been uh, bugging a little bit about trying to get a conference running. Uh, I listed it the 28th of July as the first meeting, meeting time, but uh, that was pushed ahead. Uh, a little bit the week because of other work. So we started the first meeting uh, for this conference, the 4th of August. We sort of had around six public meetings for this conference and a few non-public meetings to uh, sort of um, uh, wrap things up and ensure things uh, were running smoothly. The CFP for this conference call for participation was sent around August of 20th. Um, uh, which listed the submission deadline for 18th of September and a video deadline of 5th of October. Uh, the 5th of October did not work because I actually got the last <laughs> presentation sent to email uh, last night, uh, along with uh, Judd's surprise uh, welcome. Uh, so a little bit off schedule on that one. And then we had the conference date of the 10th and 11th of October. Uh, the new draft was uh, sent the Arch Linux uh, web page on the, uh, it was uh, already sent on the 20th, 21st of September, um, but we sort of could have had uh, 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 sorry, this, this is done live, people are talking, uh, typing to me, so I'm improvising a little bit. Um, and that new south was done to the first of September. We should preferably have had a little bit better time for this uh, conference planning, but we did actually manage to pull off two full days of conferences. Um, the CFP was done by pre-talks, um, which there we were sponsors, we got for free. Um, and then we used the CCC Video Operating Center, the C3 VOC for the mainstream, which we sent our RTMP endpoint. And then we had the Twitch restream secondary, which was also provided by, by C3 VOC. Um, this setup was done using OBS, all of these fancy stuff. And I'll do a blog post later about all the nitty gritty details of this. Um, this is how it looks like, uh, looked like on the, as, uh, as running the stream. Time taker. The OBS layout, studio mode, and the Twitch moderation chat with a few other uh, uh, windows with RC and uh, other stuff. Um, we had some failures. The TPM talk had, uh, in essence, two failures. I had food pickup that was 10 minutes late, so I actually had to run down to start that talk. And then the also internet connection dropped. Um, also been some Jitsi fallout freezes, um, and uh, but that's largely just been dealt with as we went along. Other than that, we have had no uh, huge failures, maybe possible uh, the forwarding of the closing talk, but hey, yeah, largely a smooth, uh, smooth sailing affairs. 
So some few statistics, uh, Twitch, on Twitch we had 146 average viewers, uh, we had uh, 3,694 unique viewers, on C3 Walk on Saturday we had around between 200 and 250 viewers, and on Sunday we had uh, 100, 100, 105, so we, at the top of everything we had around 500 viewers of this conference. Uh, the total amount of uh, questions that was uh, asked uh, was 80 on Saturday, 89 on Sunday, which uh, gives us a total of 169 questions, which is amazing. Thank you everybody for participating in the chat. Uh, so what's going to happen now is that we are going to do the video uploads. There's no ETA on that because there's a lot of materials to go through and some of them requires a little bit of stitching to make it work. We still had some audio desync issues. And we also do a drop with resources. Search up the Blender scene uh, with the reigning Arch logo, uh, the music mix, um, and the release of the Revenge Day track. I'll also do a collection of all the OBS stuff that was released along with any scripts that was done to drive the uh, pages. So I'd like to do a quick rundown of the conference team, which was David, Jonas, McLean, Luna, and Thirsty Lark. And then we also had the additional heralds of Aculet, uh, which was Tor, and then Secret. Uh, we also have had a bunch of uh, stream moderators and IRC OPs, which are very grateful for watching over the IRC and stuff. Um, now we'll see. Uh, we had the DJs, Revenge Day and Code Rob, um, which gave us two amazing uh, mix tracks. The artwork you saw on the stream was largely done by Svimonet, which did the uh, uh, blue border stuff you see here. And then Netsis Fire, which did the uh, uh, Blender uh, render of the, of the Rainy Arch logo. And then I want to do a special thank you to Jed Vinet and Greg Crow Hartman for the well, uh, for the two welcome um, speeches they sent in uh, after me bugging them on a little short notice, because we really appreciate it. Um, I want to thank uh, Tobias at Pre-Talks for giving us the CFP system, which solved a lot of issues um, during the conference planning. Um, I want to thank the C3 Voc for providing the stream of this uh, event and we don't have a list of people uh, affiliated, so just everyone in the VOC lounge at Hackint. Thank you very much. Uh, lastly, I want to thank all our fantastic speakers at this event. Um, a bunch of amazing presentations, a bunch of um, a bunch of uh, great presentations, Q and A sessions, uh, a lot of great stuff overall. And lastly, I want to thank you for watching. Um, stay safe. Hopefully we'll be do, able to do this uh, next year, preferably in person. Uh, if not, there will be another online Ashlands conference, hopefully. Uh, but we'll be see. Uh, if you're interested, please stick around in Ashlands Conf uh, on Freenode uh, for the organization planning. And um, yeah, thank you so much for joining us for these two days. And I hope, I hope it was uh, hope it was a pleasure uh, watching this stream. Uh, we'll do some sort of after party in the Arch Linux Conf channel uh, over Jitsi if people want to join. We'll see what happens. Thank you. Thank you so much, people. Everyone.